Good afternoon, Pokey Sports, and welcome to another VGC Battle Stadium Series 1 video, bringing you a Garganical team. Now, Garganical has been on my radar ever since this game came out, and me and Mike were first doing our tier list things and looking at these stats. I looked at Garganical, I was like, yo, hold on, these stats are kind of dumb. <laughs> Why are not more people using this? And like, look at these stats. They're absolutely incredible. Really high defense, very low speed, very not high special attack. So you know that your your attack or, or that your stats are getting used in appropriate places. They're getting used in defense and attack and HP and special defense. It's the perfect trick room mon, right? On top of that, it gets really cool abilities and really cool moves like Salt Cure, which does double damage or I think a double of the damage that it would be doing to normal pokemon if the pokemon is a steel or water type so that's really cool so if you hit a steel or a water type with salt cure it does a quarter of their health every single turn along with the additional damage that it does to begin with that on top of body press and iron defense being very very much a scary combination and recover just in case the the, the opponent tries to hit you down slowly it's incredible. This Pokemon also paired next to Grimmsnarl is an absolute nightmare, right? I don't even need Trick Room for these two to work as a collective unit, right? So we're running the Grimmsnarl with the Light Clay, same Grimmsnarl as we've been using for, you know, every video so far on the channel. Uh, with Thunder Wave, Spirit Break, Light Screen, Reflect, with the Light Clay just to keep the screens on the field for as long as possible. We have the, Moong the Moongus here for redirection and also to get those very fast spores in. I also went ahead and changed it to Clear Smog just in case I go against some more Dondozos. You know, uh, Garganical doesn't really like facing Dondozos too much because simply they can hit me with a water move. Now, I do have Ghost Terra here because this is a very old Garganical that I was able to get. I don't have the Grass Garganical yet, but hey, it is what it is. We're just going to have to go with it and hope that Amoongus is enough to, to help me out there. We have the Torkoal as well with the Charcoal, just kind of doing Torkoal things. This is a pretty hard Trick Room team if you weren't able to tell with the Garganical and the Amoongus so far. So the Torkoals here just can kind of do special damage and deal a lot of damage while doing that damage, you know, with the Fire Terra and just instructing the eruption is also a great option that we have on this team as well. Our trick room setter is going to be Orangru, which I feel like has a time to shine in Scarlet and Violet here. The mental error plus inner focus means that you can't taunt it and you can't fake it out. It does have a pretty bad typing. I, I say that, but don't actually mean it because normal psychic isn't bad, but it does mean that dark types can take care of it. So I do have a Terra dark type just in case I'm against, a, you know, another dark type and I don't really need Terra. For, for the rest of this team, at least I don't think. I mean, maybe it'll help a lot with the Torkoal or even Garganical, but even then Garganical is not really necessary to Terrasolize since you're doing just Iron Defense Body Press damage. So I could always just Terra my Oranguru, go for the Dark move. It also means that I can't get Prankster Taunted, which is nice as well. And then finally, we have an Annihilate. This is pretty much to guarantee my Trick Room if I can. This is the, I'm going to go Final Gambit and get a one-shot Annihilate set. That's all. I do have a Scarf here just kind of as my fast mode option. This does have access to close combat and terra fighting in case I get a very good opportunity to knock out a Tyranitar. <laughs> That's pretty much it. But other than that, I'm just going to be clicking Final Gambit. I am max HP and uh, max speed on this set. So I'm, I'm going for the KO and the KO to myself. So I'm super excited to try out this team. If you guys are excited to see Garganical here on the channel, go ahead and hit the like button down below and subscribe to Focus Sports if you haven't done so already as we are growing this community a lot faster than I expected it could. It's all thanks to you guys. So thank you for joining the community. I hope you're enjoying your time here. And I hope that you're excited for today's battle. With that said, let's get on to today's battles. Fire Tauros. This team is very similar to my team. Wow. We literally just played this Murkrow team not too long ago and it's so similar. It has one, two, three, four of the same Pokemon. Except they're running Fire Tauros instead of an Arcanine. Interesting. I'm not too concerned here, though. I think as long as I get Trick Room up, I'll be in a pretty decent spot. Like, I can go Anni Annihilate Baranguru, Torkoal, and Garganical. Yeah, I lose nothing by doing that. I lose absolutely nothing by doing that. I'm getting Trick Room up this game without a doubt. Unless they lead with the Hydreigon, but then again... I Dark Terra. That's all I have to do with the monkey. I Dark Terra and I'll be fine. Oh, I can't wait. I didn't actually expect to get to see this in action this soon. <laughs> I expected that this would take a little bit more time here. And Final Gambit is such a slept on move right now, especially since they can't just double their HP anymore with Dynamax. It's super slept on. 
All right, looks like Garchomp and Hydreigon is going to be the leader choice. Going double dragons here. I have the option of knocking one of them out. Which one do I think has a higher chance of knocking out Oranguru? I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it's you. So that's the one I'm going to go for. And I'm just clicking Trick Room here. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. Just clicking Trick Room and going for the final gambit. This is the purpose of Annihilate. Is to Annihilate himself. Or right, terrorizing into something. Garchomp. Probably the Terra Ground. Scary. It would have been nice deleting a Terra type, but there is good news here. And that good news is my Torkoal is going to be able to come in and do damage to it now. All right. Nice try. Bye. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Thanks for coming by, Hydreigon. <laughs> That's what Annihilate does. All right. I'm going to have to eat an EQ somehow. Wish me luck. I think I could take this. Yeah. Look at that. Beautiful. Time to go for the trick room. And now it's Torkoal time. It's Torkoal time if I've ever seen it. Just eruption instruct eruption. Double eruption. Not many Pokemon in the world can take a double eruption from a Torkoal in the sun. That much I know. Ah, Murkrow. Ooh, there's some quash things they can do here. If they quash Torkoal, I could be in trouble. I'm going to protect Torkoal here. Yeah, this is a rough one. Murkrow is the one that I didn't want to see, actually. Or they could try to taunt my Instruct, I guess. I think I'm still going to try to go for it. Yeah, Terrestrialize Eruption plus Instruct. I'm just doing it. Wish me luck. Hopefully they don't quash me. If they quash me, I'm screwed, right? But I don't really have a play if they do quash me or if they don't quash me. My play is just lose either way. So I just have to hope for the no quash. I have to hope that they try to go for a taunt. Or something. Rain dance. That's also bad. <laughs> that's also a bad one. I wonder how much my eruption will still do. Probably not that much. Ooh, that's a lot, though. I will knock out the Murkrow. Like, real talk, that's not that bad. If I could knock out a Murkrow, that's still pretty good. I will probably get double KO'd here, though. Oh, it gets really close to knocking out the Garchomp. It gets really close. All right. Rain Dance came in a little clutch for my opponent. I'm happy that I did what I did, though. I'm happy I still went for the Eruption, and I still went for the Instruct. I'm probably losing a Torkoal here. No, Torkoal hangs on. Oranguru is going to go away, though. I'm still okay. I go into Gar Garganical now. What's their last? Please don't be Rotom. Dang it, it's a Rotom. I have Salt Cure, though. All right, I go for the Heat Wave here. And I have to go for a Salt Cure. The Heat Wave should be enough to finish off the Garchomp, I think. If the Eruption was doing that much... Right? Yeah, I'm going for Salt Cure. Heat Wave, wish me luck. I need this to knock out the Garchomp. Okay, good. It was enough. Beautiful. Salt Cure on Tarotum. Let's see how much damage we do. Remember, it does one-fourth damage over time to water types. It doesn't do that much damage initially, but it's the damage over time that'll help me out. Discharge. Oh, I'm... Okay, I could take a discharge, right? Yeah, that's fine. So now I think... I have to see how many turns of Trick Room I have left. I think I have enough. How much are we doing here with the Salt Cure, though? Oh, I can body press that. I can totally body press that. Two turns of Trick Room. I have two opportunities to body press, yeah. There's no way I take a Hydro Pump. Even at full health, I don't think I take a Hydro Pump. So yeah, I'm going to have to go for the body press here. Yeah, body press 
Onto the Rotom. Come on, do damage. Oh, it's close. Discharge. Are they locked? They might be locked. If they're locked, that's huge. If they're locked, that's so huge. I think I think I just won. I think the salt here is gonna be more than enough. But regardless, I go for recover after this turn. Yes! Garganical taking game one in today's video. That's how I like to see it. The Pokemon that I showcase is the Pokemon getting the last hit. It's the Pokemon taking down the threats. They must have been choiced onto that somehow. Maybe, maybe scarfed, maybe specs. I don't know. It was actually doing a lot of damage to my Garganical, so I wouldn't be I wouldn't surprise me if it was specs. Oranguru versus Oranguru, except my friend over here is bringing a Ceruledge. Interesting. Ceruledge and a Bomb of Snow. Yeah, I think I'm annihilating every day of the week plus Oranguru. And this is a quite simple Tor Torkoal and Garganical game. Yeah, I think we're not going to bring a Moongus like we did last game. Because I do feel like the Amoongus was there for the Dondozo. We didn't actually beat the Dondozo, unfortunately, but that's, what's, that's what, that was because we got a little bit greedy with Garganical. Nevertheless, I think Garganical could do very good into this team, specifically against Baxcalibur and specifically against Serilege as well. And even like Toxtricity, what does that even do? Like, <laughs> What is Toxtricity going to do in this matchup? I legitimately have no idea. I haven't seen a single Toxtricity all day of laddering. So I'll be surprised. I'm pretty sure I'll be surprised. All right, opponent. What art thou leads? Like your boots. Toxtricity and Oranguru. Okay. I don't want Oranguru to trick room my trick room. So I'm going to pop it. And I'm going to trick room. If I get trick room up, that's all I care about. This might be like Overdrive Instruct or Boom Burst Instruct with Symbiosis and I don't know. This seems a little bit weird. I'm just trying to find out what the Toxtricity is doing in the game. I can't find it. All right, so I'm just going to get rid of Oranguru. I don't think Toxtricity is going to stop Trick Room at all. All right, bye Oranguru. Nice try. I'm pretty sure they were just going to trick room my trick room. Overdrive. That's fine. I eat that. Eat that for lunch, dinner, and breakfast. Thank you very much. All right, Toxtricity got a little bit of special attack from the throat spray. But let me tell you one thing, Toxtricity. You're about to eat two eruptions from a Torkoal. So let's hop into Torkoal real quick. Let's make some things happen here. Yeah, this is not a good place for my opponent, I don't think. Sarah Ledge coming out? Never mind. This is now a great place for my opponent. Not necessarily. I could still foul play it. I think my goal has to be to still try to knock out Toxtricity. Which I think I will with just one eruption. So I really just have to see how much damage a foul play is going to do to a Sarah Ledge. I know Sarah Ledge is very physically offensive and should be building physically offensive. So maybe a foul play from my monkey can do some damage to it. I don't need it to one shot. I just need some damage to be dealt. Now this could be flash fire. Sarah Ledge also has a higher probability of being weak armor than Armor Rouge does for some reason. I guess it's just the way that they play. Armor Rouge is typically a trick room Pokemon. Sarah Ledge is typically not. Because that's just how much their speeds differ from one another. So for Armor Rouge, you don't want the weak armor because you don't want the speed. But Sarah Ledge, if you are in regular rooms, you'd want the speed. Someone's terastalizing. Who's it going to be? Toxtricity. It's normal now. You're still getting erupted on, though. I, I, I get the whole new normal boom burst thing, but this is still going to be a lot of damage. Okay, it is flash fire, unfortunately. Yeah. Okay. Works for me. I'm glad you wasted the terror type there. Now, how much is my foul play going to do? That's the question. Oh my goodness. Sashed? No, it lived at one. And it crits me. Are you kidding me? All right. Thankfully, it's not even close to enough to knock me out, though. So that's great. 
That was damage. That was definitely damage. Azumarill coming out now. Ah, uh, not great. <laughs> I guess I'm heat waving just for a burn chance and going for foul play on Sarah Ledge. I really got nothing, no, nothing to lose there. All right, heat wave. He's gonna go through the flash fire. I'm just going for a burn here on the Azumarill if I can get one. Ah, something. Some damage too. Let's finish off the Sarah with the foul play. Thank you. Now they're only down to an Azumarill left. I like these odds. Play rough now. Ooh, ouch. Okay. It hurt, but it's not enough. Now I'm assuming this is huge power. So I'm also assuming that this foul play will at least hurt a little bit. Heat wave is going to miss. At least it misses now. I'm kind of okay with it missing now. Oh, that did no damage. Never mind. I'm not okay with that missing now. Hold on. I didn't win yet. I do have salt cure though. This is a little bit, a little scary. Okay, we're still in trick room and I do have salt cure. So yeah, I'm gonna keep going for heat waves. Like I said, I'm just fishing for a burn at this point. Let's go for the salt cure onto the Azumarill. Then at least I can win in four turns at the very minimum. Now, if the Azumarill crits me through the sun, I'll be a little bit upset, not gonna lie. I'll be a little bit crying. <laughs> All right, my opponent's trying to judge what their best play is. Okay, I do connect with the heat wave this time. Thank you. Yikes, I got the crit. Nice. Oh no, that was single targeted that time. That's why. Okay, that's an Azumarill getting one shot by a Torkoal. Garganical didn't even get the move. <laughs> <laughs> Not bad. I think if there's anything we learned today is that Torkoal's a dumb Pokemon. And that's it. GG's. Obama Snow, Don Dozo, Tatsugiri, Armor Rouge, Grim Snarl, and Bax Caliber. That's a lot of spooky names that I don't like. I'm going to Annihilate and Oranguru here. Thankfully, there's not much on that team to avoid Annihilate, and Annihilate is actually a pretty good answer for, Dun for Dundozo and Tatsugiri. I don't have as much HP, but getting that much damage dealt to Don Dozo in general is just huge. Regardless, let's go Torkoal, Garganical in the back. It, even though Torkoal isn't that great here, actually. So maybe I hold off on Torkoal, I go Amoongus instead. Yeah, I like that option a lot better because the Amoongus can help me with the Dozo. The Torkoal really doesn't help me at all. It'll help me a little bit with the Abomasnow, but is Abomasnow actually a problem? In my opinion, not really. Getting rid of the weather is probably going to be a big deal if I brought the Torko, but eh, it's okay. Maybe the answer was not bringing Garganical this battle, but it's fine. It's a Garganical video anyway. All right, Obama Snow and Baxcalibur are going to be their lead of choice. All right. Um, I think I have more HP than Baxcalibur. How much are we talking here, Baxcalibur? Probably a lot. I know how Bax Calibur is a very thick Pokemon. 115. Bax Calibur has more if it's max HP, which I don't think this one is. So I will just go for the final Gambit. Eliminate it from the game. And then Trick Room. Bax Calibers don't go max HP, right? Nah, they don't. They don't. Bye. <laughs> the reason why I didn't just go for a close combat there, for those of you guys wondering, were two reasons. One, they're in the snow, so they get an, a defense boost with ice type. Two, he could have Terran, which will confuse the heck out of me. And I ain't, I ain't playing that game. All right, Trick Room's up, baby. Kind of wish I went back to Torkoal, but it's fine. I do have Moongus, do have Garganical. I'm going Garganical every day of the week here. As they go for the Don Dozer. All righty. I do have Salt Cure. And I do have Iron Defense. I think I'm going Ghost type and Iron Defense. Fall by instructing that Iron Defense. I'm going to plus four right away, baby. I'm I'm wasting time. This is why the strategy is fun. I ain't wasting any time. Going right to plus four. I think that's all I'll need for this game too. The rest is just body press city. They're probably hard swapping the uh... actually no, they're not hard swapping. The Tatsugiri in. Interesting. I would have expected them to. 
And the fact that they're not is a little bit confusing, but fine. Oh, Dendozo just going for a straight wave crash. Yep, that's why I'm a ghost type. Lol. <laughs> I didn't want to take that. Here's an instruct. Thank you very much, my friend. My little monkey friend. We are now up to plus four. Gorgeous. Very thick organical on our side of the field, followed by a leaf storm. Ha, even better. I was ghost type anyway, but even better. All right, now it's left. I think all we do now is just go for the double body press onto Don Dozo. Because I don't think Obama Snow is a threat. I could be wrong. Or I could also go for a double salt, salt cure, but I think I want to go double body press here. Yeah, we're double body pressing. Because they're too afraid to switch in the Tatsu gear. Wow, they're tanky. Never mind. They are very tanky on Don Dozo. Hold up. I'm plus four. I thought I was going to do more than that. This could be bad. This could be real bad. I'm still doing damage, but dude, that's without a Tatsugiri. Organical's going to be at 30 HP. We're going to hang on and we're not going to get frozen. Beautiful. I'm going to have to recover here, I think. Yeah, this is clearly meant to be a very thick Dondozo. Jeez, man. I should have saved the final gambit for that guy. That's a fact. Yeah, let's go for a cover now. And let's instruct the recover. Let's get back up to full. I got to take this a lot slower, I think. Which is not great because I don't have a lot of uh, health left on my monkey. That's perfectly fine. That's actually really good that we're not going to take any blizzard damage or have any chance to freeze here. I'm just wondering why they're not going into their Tatsugiri. All right, let's get our Garganical back up to full EQ. Oh, that's probably why. Can my monkey take this? Yes, we can. Thank you. Instruct. Beautiful. Let's recover back up. I think I'm going to have to Salt Cure no matter what. Salt Cure Protect this turn most likely is my best play. Just to get the Don Dozo taking some damage over time. Because clearly my body press is not doing enough damage there. So let's do just that. I'm also considering going up to plus four, uh, plus six at this point. All right, let's protect with our Rangaroo. This battle still anyone's game. Oh, they have Ice Shard. Okay, that's good to know. We have to be a little bit cautious about that. Get the Sulk here. Beautiful. That should be doing a lot more damage over time now. Because I can't break through that defense. Whatever the heck defense this Don Dozo has, I can't break through it. So I'm sure that the Salt Cure is just going to do a lot more damage over time. Alright, I think my Trick Room runs out this turn, unfortunately. Okay, they have lefties. Fall by a quarter of their health should be gone. Great. Yeah, I was never going to do that much damage to them. Alright, all I got to do now is click Body Press there. And I'm going to try to go for the Double Protect, just because keeping my Oranguru on the field is all that I can really do. If I can get this Double Protect, then I just waste another turn of their Obama Snow. If I don't get it, I die. No matter what I do, the Oranguru goes down. I don't want to switch in my Among Us into this Blizzard or into an Ice Shard um, for obvious reasons. Oh, they actually swapped there. I guess to clean up the, the Salt Cure. Interesting, they're making a lot of switches here. It's, oh, okay, they go into Tatsugiri there. All right. A little scary, not gonna lie. They do go for the Blizzard. I did get the double protect, by the way. I didn't even notice that. Nice. <laughs> Beautiful. That's really good for us. And Garganical avoids because the snow's not up. Big old body press. Ooh, down to one. Down to one HP. Um. I think... I have to make I have to make an intelligent play here. So that's why I'm a little bit nervous. I, I could try to just knock out. 
the Obama Snow. But I'm actually just going to go for the Salt Cure on Obama Snow just in case they do hard swap in the Dondozo there. And I'm also going to click Trick Room in case they hard swap in the Dondozo there. No, they're just going for a straight Draco. What the heck? Oh, they just straight one shot me. Oh, I. Oh, oh, okay. I. Little did I know that Tatsugiri was the one doing damage, not me. Little did I know that that little thing was the one doing the damage. What the heck, man? What was that? All right, well, I deserve to lose this one. I don't know what else to say. Clear smog. Hopefully you miss a blizzard. Can Amoongus win this on its own? Hold on. I'm going to try. <laughs> I don't think I can, but I'm going to try. The thing is, like, if I knock out, if they miss a Blizzard, I might have a very good chance here because that, that Tatsugiri just got really weak all of a sudden. Now that it's negative two. They actually hard swap there? Wow. So they're not going to do any damage this turn. That's what that means. Wait, they might have given me a pretty good opportunity here. Hold on. I ain't lose yet. Can Amoongus bring this back for me? We know they have lefties, so that means we can sleep them. They have all these stat boosts, not for long though, because we have clear smug. Haha. -ha. Now you just got a stupid fish in your mouth. <laughs> Alright, they do have lefties though. Um, do we even out damage that lefties? I will spore you. I'll see. Uh, not if they, yeah, if they keep clicking protect, I'm not out damaging the lefties. Yeah, it's going to be a, a hard call. A very hard call. If I can somehow manage to knock out the Dondozo, I think I do have a chance of winning. If I can't manage to knock out Dondozo, I'm screwed. I am going to need like a crit clear smog though, I think. I think I'm going to need a crit clear smog. I'm going to need something. I think grass type Dondozo. No way you're grass type Dondozo. I know he's ground type Dondozo. I'm fine with that. Well, not really, because Clear Smog is gonna... No, Clear Smog can still is not resisted. They're just going for EQ, fine. I'm... What? No big deal. I guess they're just going for damage before they fall asleep. Yeah, I ate that up. Alright. Night-night. Now, how many Clear Smogs is it gonna take? That's the damage that I want to see, is how many Clear Smogs is it gonna take to knock out this Dendozo? Yeah, it's still effective. Please, I need I need some clear smog critties if I can get some. Give me some critties, thank you. Ugh. That's not a crit. <laughs> uh, that's not even. I'm not out damaging it. I'm not out damaging it. Oh, it was a close game, but I'm not out damaging it. I'm not able to beat the dozo today, and it wakes turn one. What is this nonsense? Oh my goodness, yeah. The Dozo got me. Dude, no, the Dozo didn't get me. The Tatsugiri one-shot my Garganical got me. What? I did not even expect. It has to be Specs at that point, right? There's like no other way. There's no other way. I think I'm going to forfeit this one because I'm not out damaging the lefties. They're going to click protect so they can get more lefties recovery. They have all the tools to win the game. If there was a chance there... It might have been if I had foul play as well. Maybe if I had foul play plus clear smog, then I could do a little bit more damage or even clear smog plus seed bomb. I could have done a lot more damage there. Regardless, GG. Very standard team over here. Has the kill watcher for the tailwind, has the Amoongus for the redirection and the trick room, has the Arcanine for Arcanining, and has the Rotom Wash for Rotom Washing. Also, hi Garchomp. Um... Listen, I don't want to go with the exact same thing four times in a row, but at this point, it's my best option, right? That Rotom Watch is going to be kind of an issue for me, though. Yeah, looking at this, that Rotom Watch is going to be a little bit of an issue for me, but I could deal with pretty much everything else. Yeah, wish me luck. If I have the opportunity of knocking out that Garchomp, I have to take it, right? 
That Garchomp is the one that threatens my team the most. That Rotom Wash is a close second. But at least with the Rotom Wash, I can go for the Salt Cure and try to stall it out that way. Garchomp, I can't really do that. Garchomp, I just kind of die. I ain't planning on dying. All right, Arcanine Grimstar, I'm going for a super passive lead here. I get a free KO on someone. Do I go for the Grim or do I go for the Arcanine? I think I go for the Grim. Yeah, let's trick room here. I know I did just get a... Uh... I actually wonder. What if I don't trick room? And I just instruct Annihilate? And then, like, Terra close combat. Is that just a double KO? I'm gonna try this. I don't see a way this fails. This might just be a double KO very early on in the game. Where they expect me to trick her and I'm just like, nah. I don't really feel like it. So, yeah, let's Terra fighting. Our, our Annihilate. Our Annihilate isn't Annihilating himself today. Taunt, Mental Herb. Nice try. Appreciate it. I'm pretty sure I blow up anything in existence here. A plus one close combat. Twice. That's one. <laughs> okay. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Let's get the other one, baby. Let's get... <laughs> I don't think Grim even takes this. I just got two KOs for free here. Dude, Annihilate, though. <laughs> Grim did take it. Oh, that's unlucky. All right. Okay, fair. Um, Whatever. I mean, I, I still get a free close combat whatever walks in here. I don't have to trick room. Keep in mind, I, that trick grooming and, and final gambling myself is an option. I don't have to go for that every single time. Um, right here, I'm going to go for a foul play onto Grim. That should be enough to knock it out of that range. And listen, I'm going to just close combat Rotom. Take this plus one close combat. They might set up Reflect here, and who can blame them? But if I can knock out... Just one of them. Okay, they're going to taunt. This is also why I didn't want to trick room. They did burn my mental herb last turn. So, you got to be a little bit cautious. I will still get a mighty close combat off at plus one. Dude, that's just disgusting. <laughs> that is absolutely disgusting. Annihilate is just, is just doing annihilate things at this point. Literally single-handedly defeating the enemy team. Okay, unfortunately, we're not knocking out the Grim yet, but it's fine. Into the chomp. Even chomp, I don't think, wants to take this. All right, we foul play the Grim. We just... Okay, we can't... Oh, that's right. All we got to do is keep close combating, right? That's all we got to do. Okay, you better run. <laughs> that doesn't help you, though, right? I mean, maybe. It depends. I think I don't take a spirit break. at Negative three is what I am right now. I might not take a spirit break. That's right. Smart play. Oh, they crit me too? Oh, come on, man. The crit was unnecessary. Oh, the Garchomp, though, is going to be a little bit of a problem, right? Um, maybe I can outplay this? I could surely try. I'm going to go into Garganackle. Orangaroo's got to hurt Garchomp at least a little bit with these foul plays. Because, yeah, I can't trick room, right? Yeah. So I have to just keep foul playing. I can't protect here either, so. Salt Cure. And that's one eighth damage over time. I don't think the game's going to last that long, so I think I just have to do as much big boy damage as I can with Garganackle. Oh, they're going to take a chance. Okay, they're going to take it. You just saw me click foul play, Tom. 
Oh, they're throwing. You just saw me click that, though. <laughs> I've, I've done nothing but click that for the last four turns. Oh, that's so close. Yikes. Okay, this means that they're just going for the straight KO. I could still lose. I shake off the taunt. I could foul play here and win. Or I can trick room and try to cover my bases. I'm just going to foul play here. And I'm just going to body press here. They still have Terra though, right? I can't do anything about that though, you know? I just have to hope that one of my moves connects. I'm able to live with at least one of my Pokemon here. I don't know, man. My 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 Oranguru is really tanky. And I am practically at full HP. Oh, they're Ghost? Okay, so now my Oranguru really has to hit there. Come on, Oranguru. Come on, Oranguru! Yes! Hanging in at 13! Take this foul play. Good riddance, Scarchomp. <laughs> oh yes! All right, that one that that felt like a good win to end today's video. We got to see a different form of this team with the annihilate annihilating everybody. Uh, but wow, <laughs> that was a game. That was definitely a game, Pakiani. G geez, let's go ahead and get you guys that rental. And here you have the rental code for the Garganackle team. Honestly, Garganackle got to do some things in today's video, but I felt like in most battles. It wasn't actually the focus in those battles. I got a lot of chance. I got a lot of like superstars that got the, their chance to shine in today's video, like Annihilate, like Torkoal, like Oranguru even got a great chance to shine in today's video. Garganackle did get a little bit of a chance. But like I said, it never felt like the defining factor of the game. It never felt like the strongest Pokemon on the team. It just kind of felt like its presence was there and that was it, right? It's not one shotting anything. It wasn't. Um, uh, changing the tides of the game, but it was a good Pokemon nevertheless. Um, this thing, I, I, I'm in love with this monkey now. I, I, I love this one. I, this is like the double monkey team. I like this one. I like the scary dead one. Anyway, <laughs> if you guys enjoyed today's video, grab the rental code while it's out. Because like I say in every single video, it's not going to be out forever. Because I only have a limit of five slots for rental codes. So, if you guys like this team, grab the rental code. Because, you know, in a week, it won't be here anymore. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed today's video, hit the like button down below and subscribe to Pokemon Sports if you haven't done so already. We're really, really close to 20,000 subscribers. So if you could help us get there, that'd be greatly appreciated. Anyway, I'm Kevin Sports. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great night and peace out. Bye-bye.